Hello, future stream Carol from the virtual broadcast studio. Let's talk about artificial intelligence. Uh, in all my years in dealing with the future and trends and innovation and creativity and disruption, uh, I've never seen any topic explode as quickly as this one has. And I'm really excited today to launch my new website, uh, all about my artificial intelligence keynote. You can find it at uh, https colon slash slash jimcarroll.ai. I actually have an AI domain name and it's going to lead to a website all about what I'm thinking about on the topic, uh, the, the keynotes I'm providing and how I'm responding to my clients. Uh, who are asking about this. And no doubt you're seeing the same thing. I mean, you can't turn on the news and not see all kinds of news reports about what is going on and the pace of change and everything having to do with chat GBT and stable diffusion and all these new technologies. I mean, this is the topic of the year. And it sort of reminds me of where we were back in 1994 when the internet exploded onto the scene and everybody was wondering, what does it mean? What, there, what are the implications? What should I be doing about it? Uh, why, how is this going to change my industry? How is this going to change my business model? And that's why I'm so relentlessly focused on this topic right now, as are so many other people. I've been covering it on stage. I've been sharing a variety of stage clips uh, from recently, as well as uh, previous years, where I'm talking about the implications of AI, uh, both the opportunity and the challenge. And the way I'm phrasing this is the, the, the challenge, the promise, the perils, uh, and the opportunity, because you know and I know this presents... Uh, all kinds of new issues as we go forward. I want to share with you as we start out here a little video clip from uh, just before COVID when I was on stage with a, the National Security Council uh, opening their annual conference in San Diego, California. Uh, I was talking about Rosie the Robot. Rosie the Robot and the Jetsons had a little bit of artificial intelligence embedded in her. Uh, and give a watch to this clip to find out <laughs> a little bit about what we're really faced with when it comes to AI and ethics. Give it you a know, it, it, it's kind of fun. Here's a very interesting thing about the Jetsons. Rosie the Robot. Rosie the Robot. A robot device programmed with artificial intelligence. Do you know what Rosie did when she vacuumed the floor? There, there's an episode where she's, she's sweeping the floor and when the humans aren't looking, she lifts up the carpet and she sweeps the dirt under the carpet. Somebody programmed the artificial intelligence capability, the algorithm that made Rosie work and had some sort of ethical or other sort of lapse in terms of what she did. We know we're going to a world of robotics and drones and AI driven things. What is gonna happen with safety and risk with the reliability of artificial intelligent algorithms as we go forward into this faster future? I mean, if we can't trust Rosie the robot from the Jetsons, who can we trust in this complex new world? I mean, when the humans left the room, she would sweep the dirt under the rug. Um, and that's the type of stuff that I'm uh, responding to my clients with when it comes to a keynote around the topic of artificial intelligence. Uh, what I'm minding is uh, CEOs, executives, senior executives, they're certainly aware that you know, there's something explosive happening here. But they're wondering, you know, how will this impact my industry? What is the real impact of the acceleration of AI this year on my industry going forward? And what impact will all these new technologies, ChatGPT and all these other, other uh, technologies, impact my company or association going forward? Uh, and what does that mean in terms of new strategic opportunities that exist? Look, there's a lot of excitement happening here, a lot of fascinating stuff. I mean, we're all getting tremendously excited by uh, what we see occurring out there. But if it doesn't impact our strategy, if it doesn't provide us opportunity, if we're, or we don't need to change our stat strategy to deal with the reality of what is occurring, uh, it becomes kind of meaningless. What complex new challenges might the acceleration of AI now present me with in my industry? And what skills and knowledge acceleration issues uh, are now emerging that I need to start thinking about now. This no doubt is going to have a profound impact on my staff, on my leadership team, on the structure I have in place, the knowledge we generate, how do we respond to issues. We've got to start thinking about those issues now. How has this sudden acceleration uh, changed the trends that were already underway in my industry and impacting my organization or association or company? Um, before this came about and how are those trends now beginning to change what disruptive transformations might occur? I've been talking about business model disruption for quite some time. It certainly has been a key issue going forward and now AI has thrown a sudden new wrench uh, into those disruptive challenges and so what does it mean? How do I need to strategize around those? What is the possibility 
for the emergence of new competitors, new disruptors um, that are building on these disruptive trends that might have a big impact on me going forward? And what barriers do I have within my organization uh, that I need to address that might challenge me in trying to pursue both the opportunities presented and the perils that come about? How will this link to my existing strategies? These are the issues that CEOs are thinking about. And these are the issues that I'm addressing in my artificial intelligence keynote. It's, it's important to recognize that some of what is occurring has already been underway for quite some time. Uh, I've been writing this series on my website called The Big Future. And these are the big, long-term, transformative trends which are really reshaping industries. And you can find this over at bigfuture.jimcarroll.com. I'd encourage you to take a look. And I'm talking about uh, leading edge trends which are already impacted to a huge way by artificial intelligence. I'm already about trends such as regenerative medicine, the fact that we are accelerating our ability to grow human body parts um, for use in surgeries. Uh, the world of connected energy, microgrids, what's happening in a world of where we've got all kinds of renewable en energy coming to the market and we're building this big, sophisticated, connected uh, grid of energy technology. What's happening with brain science where we are accelerating our ability for the input of implants into the brain to deal with the fact that brain health is one of the leading challenges of the 21st century. What's happening with vertical farming uh, as we take an increasing amount of agriculture indoors. These are some of the issues I'm covering in the Big Future Trends series over at bigfuture.com. And if you think about AI in the context of these trends, what is suddenly happening is they are accelerating uh, already existing trends to a huge degree. So for example, in the world of agriculture, I explain in this series that what we're really doing is we're moving from a world in which we only farm when the sun is up to a world in which we're farming 24 hours a day uh, with the impact of autonomous vehicle technology, the impact of virtualization, virtual worlds, the kid playing Farmville operating the 24-hour farm of the future. AI is going to drive this forward at a faster pace. The future of automobile and transport. I, we've been talking about self-driving car technology, autonomous vehicle technology, intelligent vehicles, intelligent roads, connected highways. The sudden acceleration of AI is uh, leading to the fact that these trends are now going to move forward faster than they already were. The future of construction. A number of years ago, I wrote a, a uh, article about the future of use of artificial intelligence and robotics in the world of construction as we transition from a world in which we don't do all the final assembly of a building on site, but we do an increasing amount of it off site using a lot of prefabricated methodologies. AI is play, playing a huge role and it has already been playing a huge role with robotics in that acceleration of the construction industry. So what is the impact now in 2023 as we go forward faster the future of education? I mean, I've been talking about the fact that we are transitioning to a world of what I call just-in-time knowledge, getting the right knowledge at the right time for the right purpose for the right situation. And all of a sudden we have the arrival of these magical new tools which let us get sophisticated information and knowledge generation at an instant. All of these lead to some very profound questions. And this is what CEOs and senior leaders are thinking about. What does it mean in terms of strategy? What does it mean in terms of threat? What does it mean in terms of new risk issues? What does it mean in terms of staffing and skilling? What does it mean in terms of what we are investing in going forward? What does it mean in terms of disruptive challenges uh, with where our world is headed. And that's what I'm covering in my artificial intelligence keynote. This new website that I've put up at uh, triple W, not no triple W, at uh, jimcarroll.ai. Scroll through the site and have a look uh, where I'm describing these issues, what leaders are thinking about, uh, the impact of the arrival of these new technologies, and the questions that you need to be asking. Uh, going forward, a little bit about my background and what I've been doing already for 30 years and advising CEOs and organizations around the world in aligning to the reality of fast moving strategies and the questions that you need to be asking yourself uh, to deal with this sudden new complex world. Uh, a little bit of a keynote topic description that can get you thinking uh, and a little bit more information with some video clips where I've been on stage already talking about this. I'd encourage you to go over and visit the site. You can reach out to me. There's a contact form uh, by which you can inquire um, about what I'm doing in this world. Just send me an email. Uh, and also linking to a few of my speaker bureau partners and agents who are also actively promoting 
uh, and putting me in front of my clients, so their clients, uh, around this fast-moving issue. So go over and have a look at jimcarroll.ai. I want to share with you a video clip from a recent keynote in California where I'm talking about all these issues on stage and putting in perspective the reality of what is coming. Give it a watch, and it will get you thinking. Hence, uh, let's talk about artificial intelligence. Uh, this, is, this is an absolutely wild period of time. Uh, let me ask a question. How many of you have actually worked with chat GBT, actually use? You know, you're, you're, if you haven't done it, you want to get on there. You want to get on and use this text tool to ask it questions uh, and have it come back with answers because it will blow your mind. It will absolutely blow your mind. How many of you have actually used stable diffusion or what we call one of these text to image generator tools. Anyone? A couple of you. All the younger than 30 folks in the, in the room. Uh, you can go into one of these tools and say, draw me a picture of a unicorn uh, in front of the headquarters of Z Zurich Insurance flying a rocket ship. Okay, here's a picture of a unicorn you know, flying a rocket ship in front of Zurich Insurance headquarters. What's happened here is the fastest rate of adoption of technology to have ever occurred in the entirety of human history. Uh, this, this chart puts in perspective the pace of adoption of various technologies, you know, crypto and other things, and stable diffusion. Text GBT, this text AI tool, grew to 100 million users in one month. It took Instagram like three years to do the same thing. What is, what is happening here is the fastest explosion. And the reason this is happening is because research into AI, the global brain of people who are involved in the exploration of artificial intelligence, the research papers they are putting out, the insight they are sharing, the research that is being used to accelerate the industry is literally exploding. It is staggering how fast this is moving. And you can get into, you know, like some of the fun numbers about what is going on, uh, the number of parameters in what we call an AI model, and how quickly this is evolving, and going from uh, 110 million parameters to 175 billion to trillions. You don't need to understand these numbers. What you need to understand is something massively transformative is underway. What we do need to understand is, aside from all these current headlines around AI, it has actually been with us for quite some period of time. So in the healthcare sector, we have seen AI models which can predict in an emergency room the likelihood of a heart attack or a stroke with a high degree of accuracy. In an emergency room, uh, we have stunning advances with medical technology. We're all, all, also seeing a lot of really weird ideas and concepts emerge at a staggering pace. So these folks, you know, do not pay. They're launching an AI chatbot that can go online with your chatbot and talk and somehow fight about the bills. We're not far away from a future and one little AI system is going to be talking to another AI system. They're having little wars with each other. And fake reality. If you think this country has a problem with misinformation and its impact on society, you haven't seen anything yet because we are now at the point we can generate video, we can generate images, we can generate information in which, unless you carefully examine the image and notice that the police officer had six fingers, you might think it's real. This is, this is taking us into massively new, complex, dangerous territory. What is, what is happening here is this example, multiple AI deepfakes are appearing as ads on TikTok where these deepfakes are using the voices of celebrities like Joe Rogan and Andrew Huberman and others. And people think they're real. The impact on society here is simply staggering. There's AI bots coming out at a staggering pace which will write legal prose, which will write legal contracts. I think what you are going to find is as we go up the Gartner hype cycle to this peak of inflated expectations, you're going to find this, this FOMO, the fear of missing out, driving your decisions. We've got to get involved. We've got to have an AI strategy. We've got to figure out what to do with this stuff. We've got to figure out where to go. You have to have a strategic purpose that. You also need to be aware of the downside risk. 
we're already at the point where I could use an AI chatbot in a moment to generate instructions based on a 10 second recording of my voice that could call into a bank's interactive voice response where I've secured my account with my voice and use that voice to break into the account. And we're, we're getting into such dangerous territory here so quickly. It is staggering. Why do I bring all this up? This is real. This is going to have a massive impact. You're going to have all kinds of people rushing into your office saying, we need an AI strategy. And you need to think carefully about what is going on. You need to carefully assess the risks. You need to think carefully about what is happening. And for any new technology which has ever come along, I've always said it has to fit one of three strategic purposes. How can it help me to run my business better? How might it help me to grow my business? And how could it help me to transform my business? Keep that in mind as we go forward. Uh, lawyers are going to get rich off this stuff. I mean, the number of lawsuits which are going around, around, you know, all this AI stuff is simply staggering. I put out this little daily motivational post every single day where I talk about some future trends, future innovation, future disruption about a month ago. This is the one I put out, a strategy based on FOMO, a strategy based on fear of missing out. That's not a strategy. That's not how you align yourself to technologies. This is exciting stuff. There's a lot going on here, but it's got to come back to strategy. And these are the types of issues uh, that organizations are looking for when it comes to AI. It's not just the excitement. It's not just about the technology. It's about the strategy. So I'd encourage you to visit my new website. Think about these issues. Uh, you can find it at jimcarroll.ai. Uh, and think about the implications of what is happening with the sudden acceleration uh, with everything AI to your business going forward. And reach out, to, uh, give me a call. Uh, we'll have a chat about what you need to be thinking about and what you need to be doing from a leadership and strategy perspective. Thanks for watching.